Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Falcon CX, and today I'm going to be teaching teaching you about a uh, pigeon. This little gadget over here. Pigeon is an instant messenger that comes pre-installed in uh, Linux Ubuntu, and uh, it works like other messengers. Um, the difference with a uh, pigeon is that you can add anyone from uh, a lot of uh, messengers out there. So if you have an AOL, Yahoo. Hotmail account and you want to add all of those accounts into a single messenger you can do that with Pigeon and uh, you can also see all of your friends from those accounts through Pigeon so if you want to access Pigeon just go on uh, applications internet and here it is Pigeon internet messenger and now I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make your experience with Pigeon better. Now, when you open Pigeon first, you'll be prompted to select an account that you want to add. But since I have already done that, I have to go here on Accounts, Manage Accounts, and then to add more accounts, I click Add. The protocols are the messengers that are available. So it has AIM, all of these other ones that I haven't heard of, ACQ, IRC, MSN, MySpace, Yahoo, a lot of them, and you can add any of them. Providing that you already have an account with uh, the messenger of your choice, uh, just type the username, the password. If you want the uh, messenger to remember the password for that uh, particular account, select this otherwise every time you open the messenger it's gonna ask you for that password your local alias that's uh, the uh, username you want your friends to be uh, seeing every time uh, they're chatting with you uh, if you want uh, to receive uh, mail notifications if you have received uh, new mail for that particular account check mark this check mark this if you want to use a uh, Nikon or a display image for that particular account and uh, just double click on the icon and you can look for images that you may have on your computer do not use JPEG images unless they're pretty small otherwise they might not work properly and your friend that you're chatting with won't be able to see them if you don't have PNG images just do a Google search for what you're looking for if you're looking for dragon uh, do dragon.png on Google and you'll be able to find a few. Uh, I'm gonna select the tiger.png and just click open and it'll select it for you. So save once you have finished that save it and uh, it, it'll add it right here on all your accounts. You can add as many as you want from uh, as many protocols as you as you need. Now, something that's annoying with uh, Pigeon is uh, getting random messages from bots. Bots are people that keep sending automated messages to random emails. So it's annoying, and I'm going to show you how to black that, uh, block that stuff. Uh, let me show you an example of uh, what a bot message looks like. Okay, so here's exhibit one. Message from Rosabella Silver twelve, who's not in my contact list and is referring me to this adult date action website which I've never he heard of before. So if you don't want to be getting that crap, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. Uh so we're gonna download this neat uh addition to a pigeon called the uh, Bud Sentry. I'll be providing you with the link on my uh, YouTube so you don't have to uh, have a hard time getting there so this is the website right here um, it's a uh, launchpad.net it's pretty long so I'll be posting this on the uh, YouTube information window uh, Download this package right here, the 1.3 IA64.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
Deb, it's a Debian package, so it'll install pretty is is it's gonna auto install once you click on it. None of that terminal stuff. So once you have installed that, uh, go to your pigeon and uh, go to tools. Go to plugins. Select but uh, the uh, but cent century 1.3, and then we're gonna configure it. Configure plugin. This is the question that's always going to be asked. The bot, how do you spell the number 10? And they have to spell it correctly, otherwise they they will be blocked permanently. Uh, now make sure you check mark this, otherwise if uh, one of your friends has. Uh, you have added one of your friends and they want to become your friend they'll be asked this question and if they answer correctly uh, they won't have to answer the question again once they uh, try and do it one more time since they're gonna be in your allow list okay so yeah check mark that this is an example of what it does see this message was blocked because the bot could not answer the question so I won't have to deal with this Elma the surf this the uh, whatever again okay uh, another thing about pigeon uh, is uh, you can add groups or delete groups uh, let's say if you wanna add groups for family you can do that and drag contacts from uh, any group to the other group. You can also delete them by right clicking on them and selecting delete. One more message blocked. That's good. Okay, uh, another thing you want to do is uh, go here to tools and then go to preferences and go to sounds. Here you can select the sounds you want to hear or not hear I have deselected message received and message sent because I find those annoying to be hearing a noise every time I send or receive a message these are the only two that I have checked so you can customize this the way you want for the sounds now if you don't want any sounds just, just mute the sounds right here uh, you might also want to install smiley themes because you only have a default one pre-install. If you want more smiley themes, just go to System Administration Synaptic Package Manager. Do a search for Pigeon Themes, and select that. Click Apply, and you'll have more themes installed. Now one more thing by default uh, pigeon does not show people that are offline or where what messenger they belong to so you can uh, make the messenger show this for you and here's how to do it click on buddies then click on show and uh, check mark all of these things you want to show uh, if you want to the other uh, thing to show uh, offline buddies do that empty groups you can also do that your buddy details people that are idle protocol icons are the uh, icons that show you where that uh, contact belongs to so this context belongs to MSN messenger so I get this one so yeah, you can customize what uh, the messenger shows you. You can also sort your buddies by stat. By default, it's set a, set as uh, alphabetical. So if you want to do by status, do that one. Status is the best one in my opinion because that one shows who's online uh, on top and who's offline all the way on the bottom. Uh, you can send and receive files with uh, 
with that pigeon so you don't have to worry about that it's the same way as you may do it with other messengers if you have a window open just uh, drag a file in there and you'll be able to transfer that to the person and uh, that's it about pigeon if uh, you like my videos please uh, remember to subscribe and uh, leave comments thank you for watching